if you're tired of smashing your keys to get a reasonable volume out of your MIDI keyboard, if you don't want your MIDI keyboard gathering dust because it's easier to paint notes in, if you don't want to make all the note velocities the same, but you want to hear every single keystroke you make, then keep watching because this video is going to reveal how to do all of the above fast and easy. Before we use all the Dragon Balls and summon Shenron to ask for better velocities, I've got a question for you. That question is, what's the easiest way to create better chord progressions? Comment your answer down below. If you don't know the answer, don't worry because I'll be revealing that later on in the video. Just stay tuned. And let's get into it. This is going to be a really, really easy, straightforward video. First, you need to go to options, then go to MIDI settings. Then down here, you can see our settings for our MIDI controller. And what you want to come to is this link note of velocity here and you see this thing that looks a bit like a bar graph type of thing. Click here and here you'll see the range of your velocities. Now on the left side is the lowest amount of volume that you'll get from your velocities hitting the keyboard. Now if I slightly press the keyboard as a normal person would, this is what I get. I have to hit it pretty hard to get a good velocity where I can actually hear what's going on. If I move this left hand side up to about here, the lower end of the velocity will be much higher. So if I just hit it normally, this is what I get. Like this is just a normal hit. If I hit it quite hard, of course it's gonna hit around the same thing as last time, but this allows me to easily play my keys. Just so you know, the left controls the lowest velocity, the right controls the highest velocity. So of course you want the right to be all the way up. And with the left, you can pretty much mess around and change this to your liking. I like to set mine pretty high, but you can change it to your preference. Now, the last step is to hit that like button, leave a comment saying thanks, cause manners go a long way. Also, if you wanna know how to create your own beats from scratch, I've got a great gift for you. You can use my easy nine step trap beat making formula. If you join my free course, just go to jcarterray.com forward slash free trap course or click on the link in the description. It's completely free, so sign up. You've got nothing to lose except for the chance at signing up to this course because it's not going to be available forever. So sign up as soon as possible. Remember, link down below. Now it's time to answer the question I asked you earlier. What's the easiest way to create better chord progressions? The answer is use the one, four, and five chords in your progression. I've got a video that explains exactly why this works and what these chords are. For example, the dominant, the subdominant, and the root chords explained in that video. We're not gonna get into it here. Just search for J Carter Ray three secret chords and you'll find that video. But here's a quick example in A minor because that's the only scale I know right about now. Now here is the A chord in A minor. Here's the fifth chord. And then the fourth chord. And then back to five. And then back to... to the fourth chord. Then back to that five. I think I've got a wire over here that's hitting like other notes, but also my hands, I'm not great. <laughs> Sometimes I'm hitting the wrong notes, like that, that happens. Yeah. But you kind of get in it. Using those one, four and five chords, I've got a pretty nice chord progression. Now, if I move outside of those chords, we can spice it up a little bit, but using those chords, will generally give you something good to work with. So if you're ever wondering, uh, what chord should I go with next? Like you're starting to create a chord progression, think one, four, five, let me try one of those. You'll get a good sound, get a good chord progression, good vibes. Just to clarify, the one, four, five chords in A minor are A, that's the one, E, that's the five, and D, that's the four, okay? That's how it works. Now, if you've got any questions or any other videos you want me to make, let me know in the comment section down below check out that video over there. Remember, there are some great links in the description. For example, my beat mixing template will have your beats half mixed before you even get to the mixing stage. I'm sure you'll love that. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.